What's up everyone, Simulator Shane here. Today I want to talk about I.O. So I.O. is stands for input and output and it's basically how you interact with the simulator. So on my sim the input is being handled by this card right here and this card can handle anything from switches, buttons, potentiometers, rotor encoders, things like that. And basically, the switches in the cockpit, as you can see, are connected to this card. So when you connect a switch over here, either a simple switch like a toggle switch or a ignition key, this board senses that change and tells the computer whether the switch is on or off. And then it goes to the computer and some code on the computer runs and it syncs up with the system in the virtual aircraft. And then that virtual aircraft will do its, its logic and uh, spit out things like whether a light should be on or not. And then that's called output and that's handled by this card over here, which is an Arduino. So the computer tells this card then, after it does some, some logic in the code, hey, this light should be on, and this card turns on a, a channel here, which then amplifies through this chip back up into the lights. So the switches and the lights are pretty simple, but down the road this card will also be able to control motors and other things like that. But right now I can demonstrate how it works. So, as you can see, all the lights are off. And if we turn the master switch on, we get an alternator and warn oil warning light because the engine is off. And you can see that's reflected on the screen over there. You can see the two lights right there. Same as these two lights. So, we've got the battery on, turn the strobe light on, now if we turn this key, now it's in the both position, if we turn this to start, we'll get a starter on light and the engine will turn on. Now that the engine's on, we can close the clutch switch, now the clutch light's on. And to make the alternator light go off, we'll turn on the alternator. And we can turn the nav lights on. So now you can see all the switches are on. And the only light that's still on is the clutch light because the clutch is currently engaging. And you can see that that's reflected in the virtual cockpit over there. And pretty soon this clutch light will go out because it'll be fully engaged. And there you have it. The engine is now on, we have no warning lights, so we can go flying. So that's how the input and output is being handled in my simulator. Hope you found that interesting. I'll see you next time.